I'm finally back from my vacation and I'm continuing to listen to In Maze's album by Vala. I cannot wait to continue listening to this album. I was listening to first three songs from this album a lot while I was on my vacation, so yeah, I, I really like the first three songs. So yeah, let's uh, continue. I will listen to either three or four next songs, we'll see. Uh, anyway, the first song for today is called Owls. Okay, I love owls. They're cute. So dark. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Going from uh, one side to the other. It's so good. The pace. He will speak, but never tell. Upon the whole, baby, this year. And soon they will pour the solid wine. Oh, the owls Oh, the 
paid. Okay. Ugh. Man, every song so far, amazing. It was great. It was uh, very dark. The 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 ambience of the song just ugh, loved it. And the rhythm is so unpredictable and just ugh, I don't know. I I loved seriously loved every song so far. And that change halfway through, what? This is amazing. Just everything was great. The bass, the guitars, the drums, amazing. And the vocals, I always forget to talk about the vocals. That riff near the end, it's, it's the same as the melody at the end as well. The riff and the melody, I think it's at least similar pattern-wise. But anyway, I, I love both the riff and the melody. Great. Man, this song, I don't know, might be my favorite now. Every next song is my favorite. <laughs> Crazy. This is so dreamy. So, I don't know, so ethereal. It's gonna be hard uh, picking favorites for this album. Well, anyway, the next song is Your Mind is a Helpless Dreamer. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Oof. laughs> this is fun. Interesting. Oh, the bass and the drums, the cymbals. That's so cool. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's that was awesome. Another great song, man. This album, oh, this was crazy. The freaking rhythm of the song, the the just the patterns and everything, and oh, and that melody. The keyboard was amazing. I forgot to mention the keyboard in the previous song, but here it's impossible to forget it. It's oh, that is so beautiful. So I don't know. I loved it. So interesting. All the drums, the bass, the guitars, great riffs. That riff was really interesting towards the end. It was, it was so cool. I don't know. Everything about this song is so cool. And the vocals. I wish he did uh, harsh vocals a little bit more often. Because I really like whenever he does a little bit of uh, harsh vocals. Sounds so cool. The chorus was great as well. It's just... Uh, man... Every song, every song so far, amazing. Anyway, the next song is Emily. Who is Emily? Does she want to play? <laughs> oh my god, that game. Ugh. Anyways, let's begin. Oh my god. Give me the chills.
it's over already. No, 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 that was too short. That was so different. It reminded me of a uh, first time hearing uh, Ruby Pool. I was kind of like, what? This is the same band as the one that did Smart Friend? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, man, this was uh, really different. Really chill, emotional, beautiful, very relaxing atmosphere, really dreamy again. Just the everything, the effects, just my headphones were freaking vibrating. It was so cool. They are so experimental. Having songs like freaking owls and your mind is a helpless dreamer and then Emily and what? It's so cool. I don't know, may maybe some people don't like that because this is quite a contrast like between the previous song and this one, just really crazy. But I enjoyed it. It shows you that this band can do so many different things and they can do it well, you know. Something so electronic like this and then something like a previous song. It's very heavy and, you know, you have syncopation that's like, you, you can't follow it. It's not exactly, you know, predictable. So it's really interesting. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll listen to one more song. Yeah. Uh, the next song is Gutter Moon. Okay. Okay, this is the last song for today. Let's go. I like that. Okay. Back to heaviness. <laughs> Ugh, the bass. What do I follow? <laughs>
I love that melody. Oh man, all of these songs are oh, so interesting. Seriously, I need to listen to all of these songs again because there's a lot going on and I definitely missed a lot of stuff. So interesting. Not a single moment on this album was boring. I love the keys here. Great. Love the bass, obviously, and the drums. So good. Just, I, I don't know what to follow, seriously. We listen to the bass and drums, the freaking keys, the guitars, what? <laughs> so much going on. I loved it. Love the riffs, the vocals again. Great. Just, ugh, I don't know. So many layers to all of these songs. Just requires definitely more than one listen to fully appreciate all of this. Oh, anyway, we have three more songs left. So I will leave that for part three, which is, I guess, coming up next week. I hope. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I really, I'm loving this album. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know which album I will end up liking more. This one, or Applause of Distant Crowd, we'll see. I mean, I don't need to have favorites. I can love them both equally. But anyway, um, that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.